saw dudes, in the past couple of weeks, many people I've played with haven't used font mods or by extension surge mods. Also, I've had some people ask why I use them in my build videos. I wanted to create a quick video on why they are so useful in endgame settings. Why use font mods in the first place? There are a couple of reasons and the order in which I present them doesn't matter. First, they pad out the stat values of builds after slotting in other mods. For this video's sake, let's take a look at Font of Wisdom, Focus, and Vigor, which grant 30 points to Intellect, Discipline, and Strength respectively. 30 points to a stat doesn't seem to matter much on paper, but when we look at the grenade and melee table of cooldowns, you'll start to see why it's so nice to have. Take a look at the Discipline tier table for a second. The tiers of grenades differentiate the various base cooldowns of different types since the results vary. Let's focus on Tier 1 and Tier 2 grenades since they encompass most of the grenade options. The grenades in Tier 1 include Axion Bolt, Flux, Lightning, Shackle, Solar, and Vortex grenades. These have a base cooldown of 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Those in Tier 2 are Cold Snap, Glacier, Pulse, Storm, Thermite, Suppressor, Void Spike, and Void Wall grenades. These have a base cooldown of 2 minutes and 1 second. So yes, a lot of the grenades you use are in these categories. If you want to learn more, I have linked the website in the description. Let's get back to the analysis. A 3 tier jump usually results in a cooldown that is 30 seconds shorter for tier 1 grenades. The same 3 tier jump can reduce the cooldown of tier 2 grenades by about 20 seconds. The trend isn't linear, it's kind of all over the place. Now let's take a look at how the grenade kickstart mod works. On grenade usage, it grants a varying amount of grenade energy based on the amount of armor charges. On cast, it consumes all armor charges to increase the energy gains, and each copy of a kickstart mod is considered as an additional armor charge in practice. All mods carry the same values when it comes to energy refunds. For the math, I only considered using one copy of Grenade Kickstart with 3 armor charges, and a Discipline stat of 70 or Tier 7. This leaves us with a Grenade Energy Refund of 28.4% on cast. For a Tier 1 Grenade, this results in a 30.672 second cooldown reduction on activation. For a Tier 2 Grenade, it is a 24.708 second cooldown reduction. What I'm basically saying is, is that Font and Kickstart mods carry similar cooldown reductions for the bulk of grenades. Additionally, Kickstart mods are contingent on ability activations, whereas Font mods are completely passive and only require an ore pickup. Also, subclass kits can usually cover the cooldown disparity between the two, so there's not much difference on the field. But I'm not done yet. Kickstart mods are nice for spammy builds, but are usually devalued in higher end content thanks to Surge mods. Surge mods are the cornerstone of DPS buffing in endgame content. You may or may not have seen other players in your fire team using them, but I assure you, they help a lot. One surge mod increases the damage type by 10%, and two copies by 17%. So why are surge mods even being mentioned when we were just talking about font and kickstart mods? Well, surge mods are completely gutted by kickstart mods. Upon activating an ability tied to a kickstart mod, all armor charges are consumed, meaning that the damage bonus is instantly deactivated. In boss DPS phases, ability spam is important, but the bulk of your damage will come from weapons or your super. Using a kickstart mod often guts your DPS and isn't something you would use. You would usually want to use surges that match your special and heavy weapon to squeeze in the most damage in the time you are given. Font mods work with surge mods, rather than against them. You'll get lower cooldowns on your chosen ability, whether it's a melee or grenade, and a lower super cooldown if you choose to use a Font of Wisdom mod as well. You can freely spam grenades and melees during a damage phase without having to worry about your armor charges being consumed constantly. My final point is that font mods offer better builds and endgame content for the most part. Don't get me wrong, there is still a place for kickstart mods with various setups, but the investment to make them work can outweigh their benefits. Let's look at the mods that benefit kickstarts primarily. Charged up and stacks on stacks. Charged up costs 3 energy and is slotted on chest armor. Stacks on stacks cost 4 energy and goes on leg armor. Chest armor is usually delegated to resistances and reserve mods which contribute greatly to survivability and total damage respectively. Charged up is the same cost as a reserve mod and resistance mod so it isn't always worth it. Stacks on stacks isn't always worth the investment either. It has a very high energy cost and takes up a mod slot that is in direct competition with recuperation and surges. Recuperation is damn near essential in difficult areas and provides healing when you need it most. Plus, the 4 cost is so expensive you might have to go without other mods you might want on your build. Conversely, the only mod you need to make fonts work a little bit better is Time Dilation, which costs 3 energy and is slotted on class items like Bonds, Marks, and Cloaks. It does compete against other mods in the same piece, but it can still be used alongside Reaper in many setups. I hope this answers some of your questions about why I use font mods most of the time. If this video has helped you out, consider subbing. As always, thank you for watching, and happy farming.